What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Screen 5 again here today. So Screen 5 has officially received its rating from the MPAA. It is rated R as expected. No shock there. Rated R for strong bloody violence, language throughout, and some sexual references. I think this is the first screen film that has had an R rating for some sexual references. I might be wrong, but I, I think it's the first time I've ever seen one of them labeled like this for being rated R. Or one of the reasonings for it being rated R. So we also know that, well, this listing actually has been available online for seven days, but I guess this is going to be announced some point today on December 1st. Uh, I'll probably be uploading this video after it gets announced from some other outlets, but we got what we expected it's rated r as any of the as any of the other previous films have been rated r so honestly with the whole strong bloody violence i would expect us to have maybe hopefully some of the more memorable kills out of the franchise in this entry not just your typical stabbings and then you know on to the next i would expect standout kills that's just me i expect standout kills and as far as like standout i mean like tatum smashing getting smashed in the garage door uh also like the tv to the head kill something something like that but mostly from ghostface because i know that last one was Stu, and that was sydney who did that so like maybe there's a more inventive way the knife could be used because like i feel like the most memorable thing from screen four for me is the knife through the forehead and the mail slot kill everything else is they're they're cool kills which is like oh okay so like i would love to have more than just a traditional stabbing maybe and i know they talked about ha ghostface having new tricks up his sleeve so maybe we see some other things used uh or maybe we see some kind of homages to other characters like michael myers maybe someone gets pinned to a wall with the stabbing and maybe it's not just one knife maybe there's something that's present in the room when this happens that leads to them getting pinned to a wall with something else before they get finished off by having their throat slit with the with the classic buck knife from ghostface several different things i would love to see just done that would be standouts in the franchise and of course some outlandish stuff done to the ones and the end when we find out who the killers are of course we'd love to see that so like as far as what's going on this week apparently on saturday and i guess on sunday comic-con uh the, the comic-con experience for brazil is happening another one for a panel i guess where screen five will have because i know that there's images going around nev campbell is starting press already for screen five having interviews and talking about the film there's actually an image of her with courtney cox I guess they're doing an interview together talking about their time on the upcoming film maybe talking about their character progressions and what these characters mean to them and how they factor into the fifth entry and what this is all supposed to represent maybe also dishing on if they're going to be part of any other future installments so as far as like what many people are expecting will happen during this during these panels on saturday at the comic-con experience I've seen the speculation, of course, about the second trailer coming since we now officially only have one trailer out there. I do recall hearing rumblings. I didn't get to actually witness this because I didn't get I didn't go test this out. But apparently, depending on what type of movie you saw in theaters, they were showing different variations of that Scream trailer. So I'm wondering if that second trailer was actually just that variation of the one that we already have or if the second trailer is actually something completely different. So... As far as like when we could get that second trailer, maybe it'll be Saturday. Who knows what it'll in it'll include. As far as like all the misdirects, of course, we should expect more misdirects. Also, of course, there's things that you are seeing in the trailer that are not misdirects. You can say that they're just trying to cover over any all potential leaks that may have already been validated as true. So you can say that's just their way of coming out and saving the surprise for those of us who are not surfing reddit night in and night out and then getting mad and then blaming the movie for ruining surprises when we're the ones who ruined it for ourselves so going back to the whole r rating again strong bloody violence language you out of course gonna hear f-bombs <laughs> gonna hear some some obscene language at times from the killers maybe during their reveal and the strong bloody violence i would imagine I just something tells me they're going to have some of the most inventive kills in this in, in this entry. Something tells me they're going to do their best to stand out. Uh, and then as far as like the sexual references, I'm, I'm thinking that would have to do with Chad and Liv 
I think that has to do with Chad and Liv. Mason Gooding, Mason Gooding and Sonya Mars character, I think that has to do with those two actors for whatever reason we'll find out when they I, it might be something that happens at the party later on at Stu's house also the other thing I want to talk about was the idea I keep seeing about Ghostface being like short actresses and actors playing Ghostface and I hear where you're coming from with that but I feel like that's something that as a fan at this point because they already did it with Emma Roberts I don't I don't I'm not saying they should keep doing that but when you're trying to when you're trying to keep people guessing obviously having a short ghost face killer running around for a majority of the film would kind of narrow down who the killer is but then if you have someone who's relatively tall and there's tall people i guess just average to tall people factored into your narrative i mean it keeps people's people's mind open i would say but also you could argue that that would narrow it down to it can only be people who are taller so i hear where you're coming from but at the same time you know, if there's two killers, maybe the shorter one isn't the one that you're seeing primarily that you're thinking, oh, it can't be them because look how tall this person is. Well, if there's a shorter ghost face killer that we get in screen five who doesn't match up to what you are talking about as far as like the ghost face you saw throughout the film, maybe their partner is the one that, of course, filled in those shoes since they would be the taller one out of the duo. That's just what I'm thinking about. If we get a shorter ghost face, that's fine. I, I actually think there's even a shot where when when um richie is getting slashed ghostface looks shorter than richie there i might be i might be wrong in what i was seeing ghostface just looks shorter than richie there but in all the other scenes ghostface seems to be relatively around the same height as everyone else so that that's what i'm talking about when it relates to ghostface being tall or short there's nothing wrong with us having a, a shorter ghostface it's just possible and likely that how the narrative will be made logical is that the shorter person of course was not the one running around doing all of the heavy lifting they weren't the one running around doing all of the major stuff it was the tall partner that they had but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below what do you think about screen being rated r nothing shocking about that just what do you think this could mean let me know down in the comment section below if you have any requests make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video